Hey guys, what's up? It's David here from Robin Sonder. So today we're gonna to be making our own dish washer detergent, I guess is the best way to put it. So let's get started. Here is our ingredients. This is what we're gonna be using. First of all, we have two cups of baking soda. We have two cups of borax. We have half a cup of Epsom salt. Wrote this in a hurry, I do apologize. Next up, we have half a cup of vinegar. And then we have 15 to 20 drops of lemon essential oil, according to Google. But we're not gonna be worrying about the lemon oil today because we are using Epsom salt that is scented with lavender. I don't know if that's gonna work. We're gonna find out. Experiment. Science. All right, <laughs> science. So first of all, we're gonna take our two cups of baking soda. I got a one cup here. We're gonna fill it twice. I'm gonna go ahead and take our baking soda. Dollar Tree Special, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. We're gonna use two of these. So I'm probably gonna need to um, probably buy another box. I got another box upstairs, so we're gonna need it. Actually, we're gonna cut all this in half and only make half of this because I honestly don't feel like sitting here all day. Got stuff to get did. So let's go make this as short as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and do half a cup, which is roughly right there. I am not a scientist. I'm a generalist. That is pretty close though. So, half a cup bacon soda. There. Next up, we have a... It calls for two cups. So we have to break everything down into... No, we gotta do... Okay, two cups of bacon soda. We're gonna do half of whatever that was gonna make. So we're gonna do one cup of bacon soda. Figure it out as I go, dude. No science here, just complete brute. Come on, come on. Close enough. That's nowhere near where we need. But it's close enough, man. I'm gonna gauge it by eye. Two cups of borax. Borax, I do not remember where I got this. Probably Dollar General? No idea. But we need two cups, because we kind of did a crappy version of that. We're gonna go with one and a little bit more cups. So, borax. Hold your breath when you pour this. It is not nice, folks. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Might need to fast forward past this. Wow, it's gonna take, take a while. So, go ahead and go all in, baby. So this one was half a cup and a little extra. This one we're also gonna do half a cup and a little extra. So we're gonna do about a quarter of what we we're gonna be doing originally, I guess. Sounds about right. All right, next up, half a cup. Uh, we need to wash our hands after that. Borax. It's also got boric acid. Borax is just a brand. Boric acid is the actual ingredients that we're using. Little side note there. And we got borax specifically to make laundry detergent with. We like to make our own everything. But you can actually use raw borax just like that for um, get rid of roaches too, believe it or not. And apparently, and this is laundry, bathroom, kitchen. You, it's kind of like a multi-purpose thing, really. I've actually seen it used for many things. All right, so Epsom salt. We got half a cup and we're gonna do about quarter of that, so about a sixteenth of a cup, and we're going to do about half and half, so we're just going to basically kind of fill up the bottom of this a little bit. We're really gauging this bag. Alright, so here we go. This is cool there. Anyway, that's good. Look at the crystals. Pretty. Epsom salt is also called on magnesium sulfate. Do not even have to look at the label. I like to know my stuff. Next up, we have half a cup of vinegar. So we're gonna go about half of that, which would be eight. Another half would be about 16. So we're just gonna do just a little bit. And white vinegar is also called ethanoic acid. You mix that with baking soda to create carbon dioxide. It's a fun experiment, folks. Also a great way to clog, unclog toilets and sinks. So there's a lot of purposes. So an eighth, I don't even know. I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna go with a hunch here. Maybe wrong. 
I am going to fill this cap full and dump that in there. That's going to be my egg. That you see bubbling is mixing with the baking soda, creating carbon dioxide, CO2. Also, ironically, what they use for fire extinguishers because a CO2 takes away the oxygen from whatever it is via air, vacuum, blah, blah, blah. And that's actually how fire extinguishers works. Yep, strips the oxygen from the air and fire needs oxygen to breathe, so no more fire. Science 101, baby. Woo, that's what All right, now we need to mix this up. We're gonna take our handy dandy stick that I found. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm gonna mix this up, see what comes of it. Looking right, looking right. Okay, so I was thinking it was gonna be a bit more of a cream, like a liquid. But seeing how most of it's powder, just a little bit of vinegar. This is actually looks like some kind of detergent, like official detergent, like not liquid, just powder. That's kind of cool, man. I'm quite proud of myself. It's also snow <laughs> or coke. Put that in a bag and throw it on the counter, see what happens. That's a joke. All right, guys, let's go ahead and try this out. I don't know how much we're supposed to use, to be quite honest. So we're gonna gauge that too. Science, right? Right here we go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pour this. Now I overloaded the dishwasher because once again, this is not science. Yeah. Now this has been pre-washed, so that'll help. But oh, this is convenient. So we have a little cups, cup of this, a scooper cup here, and um, I'm actually just gonna pour some in there, and um, we'll see if that works. Because I'm not gonna go out and make some kind of like little plastic tabs or whatnot. This part is going to require editing. I was trying not to have to edit this, but now, so I'm gonna have to edit it. So what I'm actually gonna do is pour a little bit in here. Oh, wow. All right, we're going in hands first, guys. You're really about to see how how much of a Tarzan I really am. So I don't know really how much to use. So that looks right. So we're gonna go ahead use that much right there, and I'm just gonna pour that on top. And what the heck happens is what the heck happens. So let them. Uh, not Mother Nature, but let the water do its course. So, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this and throw them in there. And uh, experiment. So here we go. Good luck to you, mate. Let's see what happens, guys. I'll let you know. You'll find out what happens, eh? We shall see, we shall see. Right, guys, we just got back to the house and we are gonna go ahead and check on this and see how it goes. Here we go. Alright, see how I forgot to clean the nuts. Alright, everything is looking very good so far. We got the silverware. Good, looking good. Very, very wet. It's okay, it's okay. Alright. Yup, 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 yup. Alright. All right, looks like it was a complete success, man. All right. Oh, well, there you have it, folks. A new little way of making your own um, dishwasher detergent. Pretty proud of myself.